what's up you guys this is Rob from the Gay Guy Plays and today on the Daily Grind we're going to be taking a look at what I consider to be the most improved weapons with the Shrine of Eidolon update. Now I'm going to be completely honest with you there are a ton of weapons that got buffed however there are some pretty obvious ones that are like all right so you just got better. Like the Axe Stiletto got some buffs to its supplemental stats, um, the Pox got some buffs to its base damage and I'm just kind of like I don't really need to tell y'all that they were good before and they're great now. However, I wanted to go ahead and showcase some weapons that might have been borderline before, but are now really kicking some serious ass. So I figured we should go ahead and start with the Prisma Gorgon and uh, kind of get the show on the road because legitimately, for those of you guys who don't know kind of my history with the Prisma Gorgon, um, I did not like it very much. And one other thing before we actually get started, I do want to give you guys a little bit of a disclaimer. Um, there are some weapons here that I didn't really see much potential in previously. However, now I'm like, I'm going to have to go ahead and form of them. So some of them, the builds are not 100% complete. Um, they're not completely maxed out, but you can see exactly how much they have improved. And it's a little bit crazy. So as you can see right here, I actually have a little bit of a speed trigger on there. That's not all the way up because, uh, I'm didn't uh, manage to fit it in, if you guys know what I'm saying. But um, we are going to run the Prisma Gorgon with a little bit of a Hunter's Munitions because it did get a buff to its critical chance. Now it's got as much crit as um, the Soma and the Critical Multiplier is kind of there. It's not quite there, it's almost there, but I'll tell you right now, this thing is pretty sweet. Um, in addition, we're going to go through these pretty fast because there are a lot of weapons on my like greatest hits list. And I'm telling you right now, as you can see here, this thing is just absolutely annihilating. Let's do it one more time real fast so you guys can see um, exactly how well it performed. Now, of course, you know, you're not going to sit there, you're not going to get headshots day in and day out. But this performed way better um, right there than it did in the past. And, um, ooh, I missed a whole bunch because I literally was shooting above his head. Don't do that because uh, you're not going to get all the good uh, headshots that you normally would. And because of the fact that it is a crit weapon, it's going to be um, headshot multiplier plus crit multiplier. So that's pretty savage. So as you guys can see, whip out your Prisma Gorgons, go ahead and give them a little bit of love and, um, you know, give them some play because I think you might end up liking them. Now, the next two that I'm going to show you, I don't necessarily feel like they're the greatest, but they definitely, they definitely feel like they perform a lot better. Um, so the Super Vandal, as you guys know, got a big buff, and as you can see right there, it's sitting at 100% status chance. We've tossed an Entropy Burst in there, and we actually didn't end up needing a third, because we've got Entropy Burst to make up for it. Uh, as you can see, I've still got a Prime Fast Hands in there, because I like the speed, and we've got a Base Shred in there, because I apparently need to mod this a little bit more. I also have a Riven for this, but as you guys know, I kind of don't necessarily like showing Rivens. I'm, I'm lying because there is one weapon that I'm going to show a ribbon on later, but you can see this thing, status chance, just absolutely shreds the armor, holds the enemy in place, and um, deals a crap ton of damage. So for all of you super lovers out there, definitely give this one a shot because it's been, it's been uh, given a new life. And the thing that I liked about this too is that the projectiles are flying a lot faster at the enemy. So as you can see here, it's just... It's definitely that hose that we were looking for way back in the day. Performs way better. Performs way better, and I'm very, very happy about it. There is one weapon that I did not get to mod yet. Oh, shit. Well, we'll take a look at that towards the end. Um, the Dara Vandal, okay, is... Um, I'm gonna say not as not as great as that. Um, however, also be aware that I am one mod down. That's why I'm putting this one in here because I'm like, I feel like if we got one more mod in there, this thing would be performing even better. So I'm kind of giving it a little bit of a free pass because I don't think that it's quite there, but it's it's definitely good. The one thing that I did want to show off to this uh, to you guys too is because of the fact that uh, we had spoken in the past about the Dare Vandal really not having any recoil. And they said that they added a very slight recoil. I'll be honest with you, I actually don't see it. Um, I still feel like this thing has very little to no recoil. As you can see, I am running four blasts on, uh, I am running four elementals on here, which means it, we're, we're sitting at some blast. And you guys know that I'm not very fond of blast because I like getting headshots. Um, but it's a great status weapon. And I think with one more mod, it is going to be absolutely freaking amazing. I just realized that this is not picking up desktop audio. Whoopsie doodle. Let's go ahead and fix that real fast. Um, let's do this and let's do this. Okay, there should be some desktop audio now. What? 
There's no desktop audio at all? There you go. Oh, maybe there is no desktop audio. Yeah, perfect. There is. <laughs> all right, so the next one we're going to be taking a look at. Okay. Well, we're going to skip around real quick. Let's go to the, at uh, the Attica real fast. And I'm going to tell you guys right now, the Attica has got to be getting a prime. They're setting this thing up for a prime because legit, it's crazy. I know some people saw, oh, it got a, a reduction in uh, base damage. But trust me, the multiplier, the critical multiplier on this thing is absolutely nuts. And in addition to that, um, Hunter's Munition on this is pretty fucking crazy. Uh, and I actually tested a out against the Zuge, the Z Huge, and it actually performed a little bit better uh, with Hunter's Munitions than on than the Z Huge did. So I was like, oh, it's actually outpacing the Z Huge a little bit. So part of me is like, damn, you gotta watch out for the Attica, especially with the headshots. And again, we're talking about um, multiplier on top of multiplier. So the critical damage uh, that you get and the headshot damage that you get is also pretty fucking sweet. It's it's ridiculous. So one more time, let's let's show it off because it's really kind of it's really kind of impressive. Like this thing is just ripping up chunks from a 155 bombard. Uh, so moving on. We're going to get into the Boltor series. I know you guys are like aching for some Boltor love, but we're going to start out with the Telos Boltor because um, that's that's kind of on the lower end. And I do need to express to you guys, I don't have a full build on this one either. But when I went ahead and tested it out, I was so impressed with the way that it was playing out. I was kind of like, damn, damn, like picture this with a Hunter's Munition, picture this. It's, it's just... It just performs really, really well, especially being one mod down. And as you guys can tell, these are weapons that I didn't really like to begin with because I didn't put as much forma into them or anything like that as I used to. And this, I'm almost thinking in my head with a little bit of Hunter's Munition and maybe some Viral, it could be pretty fucking great too. So as you can see, already half health, um, already half health, and this thing is almost dead. And that is one mod short. That is one mod short. So picture this with like a full build with Hunter's Munitions. Maybe we'll even try Hunter's Munitions right now. But I kind of feel like with a short build, with a short build that it would do a little bit better with uh, Corrosive. But let's give it one more shot. Let's let's see. Let's see. What we're looking for is the Rhyme Rounds. Grab one of those real quick. And then we'll swap out Vital Sense for Hunter's Munitions. I'm not really sure if it's going to be that great. And you guys know kind of like my stance on Hunter's Munitions where I'm like, Listen, I like it, but it may end up changing, so I don't say, you know, base your hopes and dreams on it. But this did get a really, really big critical chance buff, so you never know. And because of the fact that it can wield both critical and status, I wouldn't be surprised if it still performed quite well. If it still performed quite well, even, even at that. I mean, look at it. If you put a little vital sense action in there, too... Well, we're just we're just gonna pretend he's dead. We can just call him dead, right? <laughs> let's move, let's move on. Let's move on to the actual Boltor Prime because I'm gonna tell you right now, it's gonna be pretty fucking epic. This thing. The only the only issue that I have with the Boltor Prime is I think that I would want to end up rolling um, a status chance ribbon on it because I don't really like blast. Uh, blast knocks down enemies, and then you don't get as much headshots on them. You don't get the headshots, you don't get the benefits from the crits. Um, so that's kind of where I'm sitting at with this right now. I might actually take it down. I might actually take it down and embrace some of those crits right now. Listen, let's go ahead and look at how this build currently plays out. And then, um, because it's a full status build, we've gotten this thing to 100% status. Not that you really need it for, um, for rifle primaries that fire, you know, like one shot at a time. You should be fine and dandy, but... Oh, you go away. Oh, hello. This is your friend. But as you can see right here, we're getting status on every single shot. And uh, you are able to pretty much strip his armor. Let me get a clean... Let me get a clean shot right here real quick. Just to show you guys how how the status is doing with this. I'm almost thinking, yeah, we're gonna... I'm gonna try dropping it. I'm gonna try dropping it down um, to, uh, to just two status mods and then tossing in a hybrid because you know hybrid hybrid builds work pretty well and i'm thinking that almost with its statistics you could probably run something along the lines of a um of a crit of a crit based of a crit based thing so we could grab a little bit of point strike uh and then we could change this out yeah we could change that out um not high voltage we'll do a little bit of that I'm not even sure if this is going to fit all of it, but let's do Vital Sense. 
Oh, and I'm not sure. I really want to go ahead and put Hunter's Munitions on here. Um, let's go ahead. Let's take, let's, how about if, can we fit, like, can we fit a little bit of this? And maybe just, we'll just take down, we'll just take down the fire rate real quick, okay? We'll just take down the fire rate. We won't really be mad at that. Um, like this little speed trigger dude. Okay. <laughs> Hey, that speed trigger has come in handy twice tonight. Um, so this is a uh, one with viral and a uh, viral and a little hunter's munitions. We can kind of play around with that a little bit. And I mean, it looks like it's it's doing pretty damn well with it. Um, I must let's try let's also try a hybrid build where it's corrosive and critical um, critical damage and see how that plays out. But as you can see, the Boltor Prime was not able to do that in the past. And as you guys can see, I'm also kind of getting my first impressions on some of these as well. So <laughs> at least you get to see exactly kind of like how it's all playing out. We've got that, we've got Point Strike, we've got Vital Sense. Um, and then let's go ahead and hit it with a bit of a um, Vigilante Armaments. That should do it. That should That's like a 95% status already. So let's go ahead and... Ooh, wait, can I put on a Faster Fire Rate? Yes, we can. Let's put on a Prime Tread. Uh, prime shred and see exactly how this kind of plays out because I think that this should be pretty good too. 30% critical chance and 95% status chance. Again, it is a rifle, so it doesn't necessarily need 100% to be good, and it's got a pretty fast fire rate. So let's let's try this one out. I feel like this this might be the the oh, we're reloading the winner winner chicken dinner. I think that you can use it multiple ways. I think that it's fine either way. So now you guys saw the Boltor Prime built three different ways, um, which I think is pretty gosh darn cool. Uh, the next one I'm going to end up showing you guys is the Sancti Tigris, and I'm showing you the Sancti Tigris for a really weird reason. All right, so one of the things, and I've actually gone ahead and um, I've set my feelers into DE because I do have a couple questions about exactly what's going on. So I'm going to remove this status chance mod real fast, um, and you can see that for a weapon, for a weapon that has 28% uh, status chance, all right? So this weapon has 28% status chance. It's, re it's reaching 99.9 .9, um, with four mods. I want you to keep that in mind. 99 for four mods on a 28%, on a 28% status chance, all right? Because this is where we're going to get into some weird territory, all right? Uh, now, I'm just doing this real fast to prove a point. Now, if you have, as you guys, I, if it was too quick for you, my ribbon on this is base damage and uh, status chance. So we can actually push this into the 100% status chance territory. And uh, boom, you have yourself a makeshift Tigris Prime that uh, can also proc some new loca. New loca, is it corrosive? I think she's got the corrosive on there and a little bit of a heal for yourself. So uh, one more time. I, I don't usually like showing, I, I usually don't like showing, um, what do you call this? Ribbon stuff? But just because, if you're curious, can you make the, uh, the Sancti Tigris into a Tigris Prime with a Ribbon mod? Yes, you can. So we're going to reach our final our, our final one for primaries that really impressed me. And keep in mind, um, there were some other ones that I saw that were like decent but not really like mind-blowing. Um, one of the ones that I got really excited about that wasn't all as exciting as I thought was actually the Grinlock. I thought that with the Grinlock you could use three elemental status mods and its syndicate mod to get it up to 100%, but it was not agreeing with me. It did not want to do that. Anyway, so the the thing that I was telling you guys to pay attention earlier to was the fact that we could get a mastery uh, uh, status chance 28% weapon to 99.9 to .9 status, right? Um, well, and why doesn't it ever show? There we go. There's a little bit of an issue. So what I'm going to do real quick is we're going to stray away from the build that I'm currently using with this. And I'm going to go ahead and toss on four status chance mods here. Just the four that we usually use. Um, so the Cernos, Pri the Cernos Prime is actually a 30% base weapon. So it's got 30% um, base status chance. So because of the fact that it's got 30% base status chance, it should be able to hit the 100% status mark. However, there are some weird number things that are going on because that is definitely not the case. If only I could find that last mod, and I know you guys are screaming at me because you've seen it. This, for some reason, for some reason, uh, reaches 76.3 and if we go ahead and put on a split chamber, um, a split chamber right here. 
So you can see it's a 93.5. So usually, 30% gets you to 100, right? I mean, let's take a look at the Boltor Prime real fast. Let's take a look at the Boltor Prime. So as you can see um, at its base, it's sitting at 32%, right? It's 32%, so we can definitely get that to 100. The Burst On Prime, oh, I should have showed you the Burst On Prime. I'll show you the Burst On Prime afterwards. The Burst On Prime, all right, is uh, is 30%, right? 30%, so I went ahead and equipped the Burst On Prime, and guess what? The Burst On Prime, you can get to 100. I'll even take off my ribbon, just, just so that you guys can see. Still 100%. So why does one 30% weapon why is one able to get to 100%? Why is the other one not able to get to 100%? Um, we had a couple of discussions with this, um, and it was a little bit like, I don't know what's going on while we're here since I've got the Burst on Prime on there. This is definitely one of the ones that I really, really enjoyed too. However, I think I did have to put Blast on this. Ooh, did I, did I remember to put the ribbon back in? Yeah, I had, to put, I had to put Blast on this, and you guys know that Blast kind of upsets me. But uh, as you can tell, this thing is eating... <laughs> Eating through a 155 bombard, no problem. And I'm thinking that if if we could just get away from the, the painful blast that knocks enemies down, you could pretty much take them down really, really fast. So let's get back to the Serenos Prime because I did want to show you that they actually did some interesting buffs to this. So as you can see, this is the current build that I'm using for it um, with the Hunter's Munitions. And like I've stated before, I feel like Hunter's Munitions is a little bit like cheating, but... Mm, it's kind of, I don't know, I think it's fine, like, for now, because we're not going to have it, we're not going to have it for long. So as you can see, one of the interesting things that they've done here is, so we have the standard horizontal spread. Now you can quick alt-fire, and you have a vertical spread. Not only did they do that to it, other than, you know, buff its status chance, but one of the things that they gave to it, which I thought was really impressive, was the fact that headshots now have a bonus multiplier to it. So, legitimately... It's good. It's real good. It's it's real, real good. Um, now, of course, I do have a ribbon on it. So maybe we'll go ahead and take a ri the ribbon off real quick. As you guys can see, I had a lot of uh, critical chance on there, mainly because of my ribbon. My ribbon was doing really, really good. Um, but let's pretend that's an Argon Scope. How about that? Let's, let's swap that out and we'll pretend it's an Argon Scope um, and see exactly how that does. But legitimately for me, I was like, my Serenos Prime never performed like that. I was like, what are you talking about? I was like, this is, oh, oh, it's, it looked like it even did better with Argon Scope. Okay. Oh, okay. Um, now just note for the vertical spread, there are less arrows fired. Um, so I don't know if the damage is like evenly distributed through them. I'm assuming that it will be evenly distributed through them. Um, but I'm going to do the vertical spread right now. Just, just to take a look at how it's, okay, okay. Okay, you just, I even missed that. I missed that last shot. I didn't, I didn't fire the other shot before that. So, um, Serenos Prime, if you're a fan of Hunter's Munitions, while you have the chance, go ahead and use it because it's, it's feeling real good. It's feeling very, very, very good, um, for the time being, you know, I don't know if, you know, what's going to end up happening to Hunter's Munitions in the long term, but Serenos Prime is, is back. It's back and it's really, really impressive. Now, um, for secondaries, I'm going to be completely honest with you. There weren't very many that I really felt that I need to point out. Um, however, we're going to go up. And that does it for the primaries that really, like, impressed me. All the other ones were like, oh, you're better. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I lied. I lied. I lied. Stradivar. Um, this one is kind of sitting on that cusp where I'm like, ooh, you can do things now. I'm like, I'm impressed by you. Uh, so this is with another Hunter's Munitions, and we can also go ahead and try it without Hunter's Munitions. Uh, but as you can see, this thing has, uh, with a point strike, actually has 60% critical chance on it. So I'm like, ooh, ooh exciting. So um, that's going to be nice for Hunter's Munitions. Uh, and we'll play with that a little bit real quick. And then we'll probably swap over to a Corrosive just so you can see how this works. And I'm going to be honest with you, I'm still not very fond of its, um, of its semi-auto version. But as you can see, it's holding out there. It's holding out really, really well um, against a 155 Bombard. It definitely was not that good before. So that's kind of my current... Those are ki kind of my current feelings on that. I'm like, eh, it's not the greatest before, but it's it's doing stuff now. So I'm going to take out Hunter's Munitions. We're going to go ahead and swap this over to Corrosive real fast so you can see how that kind of comes into play. 
because honestly, um, I'm, I'm just as curious as you guys. And we're going to, instead of tossing on a hunter's munitions, we're actually going to go for a little bit of a uh, vigilante armaments. I like doing that with corrosive a lot because what ends up happening is, um, what ends up happening is you, you have more, you fire more pellets. So you end up stripping the armor a little bit faster. So I'm not sure if this is going to be any good. No, you want to stick with hunter's munitions. Well, actually, you know what? With corrosive, remember we always get we always talk about how all of a sudden corrosive gets good about halfway through. Mm, not as bad, but I prefer hunter's munitions on this one, so that's pretty much how that stacks up. I know that there are going to be some of you guys that ask me about the Tyberon. I literally have no form on the Tyberon. That's how much I disliked it, so I'll get back to you on that. Um, and the Latron, it feels okay. I, I need to I need to find the love for the Latron that you guys have the love for. Me personally, I was like, it's okay. Now, we're gonna go ahead and move on to secondaries, and this is a shocker. Alright, so again, I'm gonna show you weird consistencies. Uh we have the Dex Furious at 28%, 28% status chance, right? Yet yeah, 28% with like a nothing build. Keep in mind, this is like bare bones. I've got three, I've got three status mods in there. I need to point this out every single time. I'm going to go ahead and put another mod. So we're at 28%, 28%. Keep that in mind. Um, I'm going to go ahead and toss, it's like a frostbite. There you go. So for some reason, a 28% can get 100%, but a 32% can't. So we'll take a look at that in a second. I'm, I'm really, really weirded out about this, but I want to show you this because this shocked the shit out of me. I was like, what even happened here? I'm gonna put that Hornet Strike back on. Keep in mind, we're missing, we're missing two mods. We are missing two freaking mods, all right? So we're sitting at 98.6%, which is fine. We don't need to push this up to 100, we don't. Um, Cause it's just a you know, regular kind of like rifle. It's not like shotgunny. But we're gonna come here and I'm gonna have you look at this and I'm gonna have you go what in the world is happening here? I'm gonna have you say what in the world is fucking happening here. The Dex Furious? You were gutter trash. You were gut you probably still might need rifle ammo mutation on this. But even if you put rifle ammo mutation on this, I'm gonna tell you right now. You you this thing is fucking I don't I don't even know what it it's just killing. It's just so good right now and I'm I'm mad at it. I'm I'm mad. I'm mad it's so good. It's so freaking good, you guys. So uh, for those of you guys who ha have been around for at least a year and have yourself the Dex Furious, pick that shit up because that is surprisingly fucking phenomenal. Um, now, let's take a look at the Dual Toxist. I actually haven't played around with this myself. This is my current build for it. Um, you don't need 100% status chance on this. But one of the things that we did point out is they said that, you know, it was two seconds, two seconds for a headshot, yada, 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 so on and so forth. But... Um, they've actually extended it for one extra second. So, uh, so you're fine and dandy, literally, this thing, and it'll refresh itself, and it can still kill really well. So it's at three seconds. Honestly, I'd prefer four. You know me, I'm always gonna ask for a little bit more. I'm always gonna ask for a little bit more. But as you can see, it self, uh, it self refreshes. So that way, you don't necessarily need to, uh, whoa, that's a, that's, oh, that, that was the right gun. I don't know why I had so much recoil. Oh, that's because it starts off with like a shit ton of recoil. But as you can see, it just ends up refreshing itself over and over and over again. So you can get the kills really fast. So if you're um, a fan of the dual toxicists, try out the three seconds. I would still want four, but okay. Why fucking not? Um, the next thing that I do want to show off. So we're going back to like the point that I made earlier. Right? About the Dex Furious, which is a 28 critical chance weapon being able to get to 100% crit why is my Mara Detron why can't my Mara Detron do that because my Mara Detron right now is 32% status chance 32% status chance right and um, let me show you one without the extra damage oh well you can see it right here though you can see it right here Mara Detron has all four all four status mods in there but oh can only get 98.1 um, when I was chatting to Rebecca a little bit earlier, she did say maybe it has something to do with pellets, and then I kind of threw a couple other um, examples at her that did not quite jive, but maybe it has to do with something like the calculation of the pellets. Uh, I'm not 100% sure. We'll go ahead and toss that real quick. 
and uh, we'll move this up and we'll toss an auger packed on so you guys can see without. I mean, it's still good. It's still a bonus to its status chance, you know, but it's not 100. It's not that coveted 100% status chance, 100% uh, status chance part. You know what I mean? Because we're, we're all looking for that 100% status. Um, still does quite well. You know what I mean? Can't hate it. Still, still, still killing, still killing the game. So, uh, definitely not mad at it. However, I am very, very puzzled at the fact that it can hit at 32%, it can't hit 100% status. However, a weapon that is at 33% then that can definitely hit a lot of status is the goddamn Twin Roga. If I can find your ass. Twin Roga, oh my god. Twin Roga, why are you so good? Why are you so insanely good? So let's go ahead and do this. Now, again, we have we are going to be dealing with Blast, which knocks down enemies, but this this thing, this thing is just, this thing is just evil. Evil, evil, evil. Look that wow twin roga i'm not sure if i showed you the build let me go ahead and show you the build real quick on it i have no ribbons in it whatsoever um that is just the the, the good old twin roga with 100 status chance that's that's all it is so if you haven't tried the twin roga definitely try that one out even if you know it is kind of frustrating having to deal with um with a little bit of a a knockdown with blast i know some people are into blast i'm not as into blast as some people are though uh, but as you can see right there, it's it hurts. It hurts enemies so good. So give it, that one a shot as well. I'm going to go ahead and do a quick browse through to, to see if there's anything else that I really ended up liking that I missed. Um, the Act Magnus and the... Uh, the Act Magnus and the Magnus, they actually got balanced out, so they're both sitting at 22%. Oh, what I'm going to show you guys next is going to be a weapon that many people were griping over, which was the Pandero. They actually didn't nerf this as bad as um, as a lot of people thought they were going to nerf it. And it really, it still performs. I'm not going to say it's the best, 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 best. I still say, you, hey, you have access to the Sycharis Prime. However, this thing, still still doing ch chunks of damage if I don't miss. Dear Lord, sweet baby Jesus, I forgot how bad the recoil is on this thing. But literally... It, it's still it's still pretty damn good. It's still pretty damn good. And a lot of that was user error. A lot of that was me being shitty with the shots. Um, so let's go ahead and revisit that. And I'm gonna run through in my head if there's any other um, any other secondaries that I really think got that much of a change. But as you can see right here, it's it's still doing quite good. It's still doing quite good. I'm try I'm really trying to hit the headshots instead of absolutely missing. So if we're going slow, I'm sorry. It's just that literally, it's just that literally I, I was like, I didn't want a repeat of the last one. Now the shots look slow, but definitely still good, still worthwhile. Um, and I think that might pretty much be it. Uh, the shotguns were already in a really good place. I didn't feel like showing those. Um, the Hiku Prime was just okay. I wasn't super, super, super like blown away by that. Um, but I think that at the end of the day, I think that the only thing that's a little bit weird that I did want to point out, you know what, while we're talking, let's do the Nell, because the Nell's headshot, uh, the Nell's headshot got, like, bonus status chance to it, too, so I figured, you know what, why not? Um, yeah, the only thing that I kind of have gripes about is the inconsistency of the, um, of the 30%, because there are some weapons that, you know, get that 30%. Nell. Nell, why are you so good still? Why are you so good? It's good. It was good then. It's it's good now. So <laughs> I'm I'm happy about that. Definitely. Wait, does it show status chance on the display? That's definitely one question that we should kind of take a look at real quick. Um, it's just showing crit damage, but supposedly you do get bonus status chance with it as well. So, um, that's absolutely fantastic. Does the job. Slashes through enemies real well. Um, so that about does it. Let me know if there are any weapons that you guys are super curious about. Like I said, I went through and I tried all of them and I kind of highlighted the ones that I thought were like leaps and bounds uh, better than they were previously. There were some really great ones like the Strun Wraith. You know, it was great before. It's still great. Oh. I hate this weapon. You guys know I hate this weapon. This is, this is the weapon that I hate the most. I hated the shotgun 
so you know what? Let's give it a shot. I don't know why I don't have a full build on it, but let's go ahead and put a full build on it real quick. Um, oh, I think I was checking something for 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 someone. So, um, you know, let's let's give this a shot. Supposedly, does this have any status to it? We're gonna try to go for. I'm, I can't remember off the top of my head if we can push this to 100. But you know what? You know when they're saying that 30% status chance? Oh yeah, that's gonna that's gonna make everything you know 100%. We we can't trust that today. We can't seem to trust that today. So you know what? We're just gonna go ahead and put it in and see what ends up happening. We're at 95% right now. We've got acid shells in, and the last one should be toxic shell, some sort of fire one. 99.6. So if literally, if you had, you know what? You know what? Because I know that they're gonna, because I know that they're gonna be some people that do have status chance mods. We'll put um, we'll put a, we'll put um, uh, a status mod in there after, after. But let's just try this now. It's really, really close to being amazing because it does have that status chance. What I'm really curious about is how, how is it gonna perform with um, how is it gonna perform with uh, the reload speed. So yeah, you're really gonna want to try to push this to 100% status with either a Riven or um, either with a Riven or with a oh, I reloaded and it didn't feel like I was dying inside. Okay, that was that's the big change. That's the thing that I'm the happiest about. Now, um, for those of you guys out there who do happen to want to get it, maybe I would suggest if you were gonna have a Riven for this. I would suggest like a reload ribbon and a status chance ribbon because that would put you to the 100%. Uh, that would push you to the 100% status mark. But I'm going to go ahead and put shotgun savvy on this real fast to see how it performs with 100% status um, because, you know, why fuck it? Mm, don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. Shotgun savvy. All right. Let's see how this performs um, with 100% status because... Listen, it's close. Y'all, it's Riven close. So, uh, let's just check it out. Let's see how it's feeling. Um, it's feeling okay. It's feeling okay. It's not terrible. It's better. Um, and it did it in under Eclipse. So I'm gonna say if you get a good Riven, uh, that you can put on top of this weapon to push it past, then it will do good. It already does good with acid shells for, especially when you kind of combine it with Banshee Sonar. Um, I know a lot of people love that synergy. I personally didn't, but the reload on this feels ton better. So I, I will give it a pass. So that pretty much does it for now. I've been going on for quite a bit. I'm gonna leave you guys and I'm gonna see if I can't jump into some Terralist and Guantalist and Rainalist fights. Um, regardless, you guys take care of yourselves. Let me know if there's any weapon that you think um, I should go ahead and check out that has improved leaps and bounds. Leave that in the comment section below because I'm very curious. There's a ton of buffs that came out. Um, but yeah, so put that there. And as always, love somebody, hurt nobody, and touch your buffed sexy weapons. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.